Hello, my name is Dr. Hussam Suradi. I'm an interventional structural cardiologist here at Rush University Medical Center. TAVR is a groundbreaking technology that has saved millions of lives worldwide. It is indicated for patients who suffer from severe aortic stenosis where their aortic valve does not open up properly. And this may lead to serious symptoms such as shortness of breath, chest pain, fainting, and eventually, if untreated, it might lead to death. Prior to the procedure, uh, we met with Jane. We addressed all her concerns, all her questions. We explained the details of the procedure. I'm nervous, but I'm glad my daughter's here. I get tired and my chest feels heavy, but I'm glad I'm here to get this done. Right now we are in the hybrid cath lab, and what distinguishes this cath lab from standard cath lab where we do angioplasty, that it's equipped with the most advanced imaging tools, and most importantly, it has the capability to be transformed into a surgical operating room. So we're going to start with getting access in the femoral vessels, and this is really a critical step in this procedure. We use ultrasound and fluoroscopy to get access into the blood vessel. This minimizes the chance of any vascular complications. As you can see, TAVR is really a team effort. Several experts from different specialties come together to best serve the patient. Now what we're doing is basically we are advancing a temporary pacemaker. This helps us in more properly positioning the valve when we deploy it. We're across the valve, so we're gonna advance the catheter over the wire into the ventricle. So now what we're doing is basically we're advancing the valve. Okay, go ahead. So now we have the valve across the native aorta valve. We're gonna gradually start deploying this valve. Puff here. That's good there. We're checking the valve in several different views, make sure it's in the proper position. Inject. Okay, looks great. I think it's uh, in the perfect position. We're all done here. Uh, so as you can see, the whole procedure took less than an hour, exactly about 40 minutes. We got really excellent result and the patient has been doing great throughout the procedure. After this, patient is gonna, uh, anesthesia are gonna wake up the patient. She's gonna be in recovery for a couple of hours. And hopefully within a few hours, she'll be able to get up and walk and hopefully she'll be home tomorrow.